This video is a production of Wheels by Fleming of San Jose, California, USA, home of hand-built basic and replacement alloy bicycle wheels. I'm your host, Robert Shackleford, a.k.a. Fleming, a.k.a. Mr. Rabbit. Today's video category is Technical Information. Today's video title is The 89 Cent Dial Indicator. Like many wheel builders, I own a dial indicator, which I can use to true wheels to within plus or minus one thousandth of an inch. How often do I use it? Almost never. Instead, I use a cheaper alternative that costs me maybe 89 cents, a piece of electrical tape. That's it. Here's how I do it. I grab a roll of electrical tape and I cut off a square piece. I modify the top edge such that it has a slight downward slant to the right. I place this over the point on the right arm of a park tool wheel chewing stand such that it extends past the top a half millimeter, maybe a millimeter, and extends inside half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter. Try to keep it short so if a rim touches it, it doesn't drag too much. Here's how it looks when doing lateral truing on a wheel. Here's how it looks when doing vertical truing. Notice that I brought the arm down and under the edge of the rim. This is why there's a downward slant to the right on the piece of tape, because by the time you bring the arm in underneath, it levels out. Think I'm pulling your leg? What follows is a video of one of my basic rear 8 and 9 speed cassette mountain bike wheels built in one and a half hours using electrical tape as a dial indicator. Keep your eye on the real dial indicator. It's registering only plus or minus two thousandths of an inch. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can visit my website at www.mrrabbit.net. Follow the link for Wheels by Fleming, and on the Wheels by Fleming main page at the bottom is my email address. Use that to shoot me an email. 